Warren Buffett once said, the more you learn, the more you earn. That is so true. Look at successful people like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, Oprah, Mark Cuban, and any other highly successful human. They are successful because they use their time right. They are successful because they are lifetime learners. They commit to learning new things every single day. Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest humans on the planet, is famous for reading more than five hours every day. Bill Gates reads one book per week. Mark Cuban, three hours a day. Oprah, well, she's just obsessed with books. Notice a common theme here? Successful people never stop learning. Think about this. You have $86,400 to spend every single day. But when the day is over, the money disappears. You can't get it back. When you try to spend all of the money before they disappear, when you try to use it wisely, use it as best you could. The sad part is, we only have 86,400 seconds a day, and most people take this time for granted. Most people let this time disappear without a second thought. We never get this time back. We must use it wisely. We must be productive. We must use our time to do things we enjoy or use it to set up our life so we can spend our future doing more things we want to do instead of wasting your time on meaningless things. Use it to learn new things. The time you spend playing video games or partying with your friends will never come back. Once you use that time, it's gone forever. Use your time wisely. Read books. Study hard and learn as much as you can. Most people give up on their dreams because it gets too hard. A lot of students stop chasing their dreams because of one failed test. Matter of fact, most students don't even try their best when they take the test because in their mind they have already failed the test. They stop believing in themselves, and once the belief is killed, the dream is killed. If you have a dream, you must do everything to make it into reality. It doesn't matter how many times you fail a test. Never stop believing in yourself. Life itself is a test. Sometimes you will fail, but the only way you can be a failure is if you stop trying. Whatever dream you have, Use all your energy to make it into reality. Push yourself to become the person you are destined to become. If you want to get results you have never got before, you are going to have to do things you have never done before. The richest man in the world, Bill Gates, was once asked which superpower he would like to have. The richest man in the world said that he would want the ability to read books faster. Success is not about the money, the fame, or the big house. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. You will fall down many times on the road to success. But the most important thing is that you get back up. Get back up stronger and wiser than before. Create a mindset that does not allow you to quit or stop believing. If you quit on your dream and give up, you'll never know how great you can be. Never doubt yourself. Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. As Daniel Pink said, People fail to achieve mastery, not because they aren't talented, but because they aren't disciplined. The wonderful news about the human condition is you can get good at anything that you set your mind to. It's just not going to be easy, and it's not going to be fast. But the willingness to put in that work is what's going to separate you from everybody else, and I'm begging you to see yourself right now, today, as average, as no better than anyone else. But I beg you with more force than I know how to convey with this language to see yourself as malleable, to see yourself as capable of becoming anything you want to become, to become truly extraordinary. If you can find within yourself the discipline 
to stick with it long enough. And as Steve Martin said, perseverance is a great substitute for talent. Everybody wants to talk about who's talented. Everybody looks at the person with innate talent as if they have something magical. But to me, it's a gift, it's a handout. It's a freebie. It hasn't been earned. And no matter what it is, it's only the beginning. Even somebody that has talent, even if you get an early win, if you let somebody outwork you, if you let somebody who has more perseverance, more grit than you, then they are going to outperform you on a long enough timeline. The only thing I can guarantee is you will be outworked by somebody unless you pour your heart and soul into getting great. If you don't take days off, if you put yourself into it as if your life depended on it, when you act like that, then you've got a chance to be great. And as Robert Horry said, pressure can bust pipes, but it can also make diamonds. You've gotta want that pressure. You've gotta want things to be hard. You can't seek out the easy life. You can't just hope and pray that you can uncover inside of you some talent that's laid dormant that you didn't know about that's gonna let things be easy for you. Don't want the easy, want the hard, want the pressure, want the thing that's gonna turn you into something. Because when it's easy, you don't work for it. When it's easy, you don't push. When it's easy, you get surpassed by the person who has to give it their all, who's prepared to do blood, sweat, and tears in order to become that thing that they want to be so badly because they are so fucking angry that they were never given anything. And with that chip on their shoulder, they're determined to become anything that they set their mind to. So whether you have talent, whether you don't, the only thing that matters is will you persevere? Will you stick with it long enough to get great? People want to know how to stop the laziness and they want to know how to stop the procrastination. They have some idea in their head, you know, some kind of a, a vision of what they want to do. but they don't know where to start. They don't know where to start it, you know? They don't know where to start. Where do I start? And, and when's the best time to start? And I have a very simple answer for that. Here and now. That's it. You, you want to improve? You want to get better? You want to get on a workout program or a clean diet? You want to start a business? You want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer or put together some mobile application? Where do you start? You start right here. And when do you start? You start right now. You initiate the action aggressively. You go. Because the idea isn't going to execute itself. And, and the book isn't going to write itself. And the, the weights out in the gym, they're not going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. You got to stop thinking about it. And stop dreaming about it. And stop researching every aspect of it and reading all about it and debating the pros and cons of it. Just start doing it. Take that first step and make it happen. Get after it. Get after it here and now. So what was that moment like looking in the mirror the day you decide, okay, wait, enough is enough? Well, it was pretty crazy for me. It, um, it, it took a while to get to that point where enough was enough. I had to make a change in my life. How do you find and cultivate that drive? Like there is a kid right now watching this man and they feel like you felt, they feel lost, alone, broken, stupid, lazy, like they're never going to amount to anything. And what you're talking about is the closest thing to a fucking superpower that this kid has ever heard. And right now he is on the edge of his seat. How does he, 
How does he like force himself to take that first step? I'm very fortunate that I grew up in a time when there was no phones and there was no social media. And I suggest, yes, I'm on social media on a very limited basis because I have a story to tell and it's a great platform. Use it as a platform, don't use it as your life. My biggest advice to get everybody in the world is like I say, we live in an external world. Everything is, is you gotta see it, touch it, it's, it's, it's external. If you can for the rest of your life live inside of yourself, stop listening to people who are calling you fat, gay, transsexual, nigger, everything that is makes no sense. All these insecure people putting their insecurities on you, you gotta flush it out. You gotta just be whoever the hell God or whatever the hell you believe in. If you believe in nothing but yourself, I don't care what it is. You gotta take everything and throw it away. You have to believe in one thing and that is yourself. And, and I'm not saying don't believe in God or what you believe in, but right now for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not gonna find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. I may give you the spark, but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. And that means you gotta be quiet. Shut the fuck up, go in a room, Stop talking, search your soul, search your mind, search your abilities, and you'll find it. But if you're not looking for it, you won't find it. So you gotta go start your journey. And the journey starts with you finding, why the hell am I here on this planet Earth? Why am I here? And if you don't know that, you will live the rest of your life searching, always asking the question, 